Hello, in this session we will take you through uh, financial reporting using the AIM plan uh, visual. Uh, so the first thing we'll just uh, hook up to some data. So here on the right here we've got a um, finance transactions and GL accounts etc. Uh, the first thing we'll do here is we will go and get uh, the AIM plan visual from Power BI. So if we click on AIM plan here uh, we'll bring this visual in and this tells you a little bit about that and we will add this uh, visual. Okay so now we can see over on the right here that we have AIM plan planning and reporting visual. Uh, so we'll just select that and we'll get started bringing in some, um, some values. So when you select this visual, we have a section here where we've got key fields, um, fields and values. Fields and values is really where we'll be uh, looking at today. Uh, so firstly, uh, we want some information, the GL, um, the account category, the account subcategory, and the GL account. Uh, we're going to analyze some of this by our product posting group. So just to show the flexibility of the reporting in here. And if we go to the finance transactions to get the amount. And also we might want a month in there. Okay, so on this visual, if we select down the bottom right here and edit this then we have what are called row sections and column sections. So the first thing I'll do is create a column section here and I'll just call this uh, periods. And the field that I want here is the month and in the column section that's where we put in our measures. So if I click on the measures here uh, then I have the amount. So that looks fine there. Let's go and click on a row section. So for this example, what we're going to do is I'm going to have my income by um, by posting group, so product group, uh, my cost of sales by product group, uh, then get a gross margin, a gross margin percentage, and then I'll have my expenses by um, account subcategory, which is a grouping of various uh, GL accounts, and then by GL account, and then down the bottom we'll have our net profit. Okay, so we have this new section. So the first one thing I want to put in here is income. And I want to do this by uh, product posting group. Um, and then I need to filter this. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to filter this with the account subcategory is income. Okay, so my account category uh, tells me whether it's income or expense or gent cost of goods sales, etc. So this section is income. And if I click over on here, um, I can say whether I want spacer rows or borders, etc. Uh, so I'll want a total row after. And down here I've got the total label text. Um, I could change that to say total income. Okay, let's just have a little preview of this and we get income of wholesale, retail, etc. Um, okay, so that's all good. My income section is done. Uh, now, uh, the, um, the AIM plan visual is a free version, um, but if you we need to set this up where we'll be able to create several, uh, several uh, column sections and several row sections. Uh, so when we do this, we uh, pick an instance and that hooks up to my my sort of play instance here. And then once I've done that, what I can do is in here I can create a new row section um, and I can also duplicate this. So if I click on duplicate, or actually just before we do that, um, I just want to take you and show you some of the filtering here. So now that I've actually logged into my instance, I've got my own color palette in here. So I can use a color palette um, that suits my organization. Um, so these are our company um, company color palettes. And so then we can quickly just use that palette for everything in here. Um, 
So I'll preview that and you can see that that's giving me that total income. So I want to duplicate this and this one here I'll just cost of sales. And that also will be by product posting group. Uh, so really nothing to see there. Um, in the filters, I just need to change this to be cost of goods sold. Um, and then over in here, I need to change my total to sales. And that's copied over those formats, etc. So here I've got uh, total income and total cost of sales. Um, if I want to in here, I could just put in uh, spacer say after and that spreads it out and now um, I'll create a new row section and I'll call this gross margin and in here what I want to do is I just want to have one row which has a calculation on it um, so I can create create in a calculation which would be uh, sum of my amount where uh, we apply uh, add a filter account category is cost of sales and income um, and that will sum up both both of this and I probably want to say a space uh, before but not after and here I have my gross margin okay so now I want a gross margin percentage so let's just create percentage Excuse the spelling. And here I want to um, again uh, just go and have an override here. Um, so I could have done a copy from here, but I didn't. So I want to do the sum of amount where the um, account category is income and cost of goods sold. And then I can apply the, the um, divide that by some of amount where, oh sorry, filter where account category is um, income. Okay, so I've got income and cost of sales divided by income. Okay, so now if I preview that, then. Okay, so I also want to make sure that that's uh, formatted and percentage and I want that to be two decimal places. So if I preview that now, then I get my amount and my GM percentage. So these here, for example, we might want to just bold these. And I want to space it just after that. Okay, so we've got our, our sales, cost of sales, and gross margin, and gross margin percentage. Uh, now I'll just go up to here, and I'll duplicate this one, and we'll call this expenses. And I don't want to group my expenses by product posting group. Um, instead, I want to group that by account subcategory. And also by GL account. Okay, so my account subcategory here, um, what I want to do is I don't want this expanded by default. Okay, so I want that to be grouped up so um, it just views the account category and then we expand out to see the GL accounts. So let's just take a look at that and see how we've. And because I copied this, I just need to change my filter from income to expense. Okay, so let's just take a look at that. And what we have here is we have um, expenses. Um, we have um, ex expense, all of the GL accounts, advertising, etc. So we could just um, tidy this up a little bit um, with this one. I want total expenses and with GL account I actually want my fault here to be the blue and we preview that 
that's all looking looking good so lastly I just want to create a new row section I'll do this manually and we'll go net profit and in here this will be just the sum of amount where we have an account category is um, income cost of goods sold and expense and also for this I would like to have a spacer row before and after I want this to be bold and I want to have a border at the top so if we look at this now um, what we can see here is we've got our income cost of sales gross margin expenses and a net profit 